Now, Art um, acquire, acquired, again, because he uh, had a head injury when he was like two and a half, three years old, I believe. Let me play this for you. Mind Matters, a special edition of Sunday Morning. Here again is Jane Pauley. The mental abilities of savants never fail to astonish. Throughout the morning, Susan Spencer will be introducing us to some remarkable people. Alonzo Clemens is able to work part-time. Do you like your job at the Y? Yeah, big trash. Uh -huh. But a childhood accident left him with a traumatic brain injury. He can't read or write or do math. This is your studio, yeah. as it were. And yet, astonishingly, he can do this. When did you make him? On the weekend. This past weekend? Yeah. Oh. As naturally as the rest of us breathe, Alonzo can sculpt. His meticulous creations fill his Boulder, Colorado apartment. He's made hundreds of them, all with his bare hands. When you make an animal, what are you thinking about? Run around with my pasture. Do you can see it running in the pasture? Yeah. This is the clay. Okay. And this is how you start every piece. Yeah. He can't explain how he does it. What are you going to make? Horse. But he loves to show you how. So you just use your fingers. Yeah. We watched him work out every detail, from the mane to the muscles, all with apparent ease. Is Alonzo a, a savant? Yes. No question. Hi. Psychiatrist Daryl Trefford is research director at the Trefford Center in Fond du Lac, Wisconsin. This is the largest planet, Jupiter. And is a leading expert on savants of all ages. 67 satellites. Savant syndrome is a rare but remarkable condition in which someone with a disability has a, a striking ability that stands in stark contrast to overall handicap. Dr. Trefford says Alonzo is what's called an acquired savant. It's believed that his head injury somehow rewired his brain. He's coming along. He's coming along, isn't he? <laughs> Damaging cognitive abilities, but freeing up extraordinary artistic gifts. Oh, that took you 15 minutes at most. I could take 15 years and I couldn't do that. <laughs> Do you think Alonzo would be making horses today if he'd never had that accident? Probably not. This is one of the pieces, uh, actual pieces that Alonzo Clements has made. And In about so, 15 minutes. Yeah, he, he, he does them very fast, 15 to 20 minutes, and that's, that's one of them. It's beautiful, very heavy, because they change it to bronze. No, yeah, what they do is that he starts in clay, and then they have a bronze process. He's an artist. So anyway, um, I'll go on to Stephen Wiltshire. He was, um, he's an autistic savant. He was mute until he was age five. His first word was paper. And he draws entire cities from memory. So you fly him over any city, and he will you put him in front of a 30-foot canvas, and he'll reproduce the entire city right down to the correct number of columns in the Pantheon in Rome. Oh. 